The voice knockouts are bringing the drama this season. With our esteemed coaches, John Legend, Gwen Stefani, Niall Horan, and Reba McIntyre given both a steal to nab another team's artist once their coach decides to cut them, as well as a save to keep two of their own artists from one knockout. You knew this round, more than any, would see a lot of artist movement and a lot of excitement as buttons are pushed all over the place. Is Carson Daly's voice okay? The man has to scream whenever one of these handy-dandy tools are used. Someone get him a tea or something. After tonight, the third night of knockouts, he'll really need it. The voice runs through five separate knockouts and within those, the save button is pushed once and the steal is pushed five separate times. The coaches are excited about the season 24 talent and this is how they're showing it. The evening is bookend by two individual steals. First up, John Legend puts Lila Ford, DJ Young, and Stee into a three-way knockout and knows he'll have a tough choice, especially between Lila Ford and Stee. Almost every coach has, at least once, talked about buying a Lila Ford album and after she impresses yet again with her cover of the James Taylor classic Fire and Rain, John can't pass up an artist who is so creative in their musical choices. But Stee and his take on Maxwell's Pretty Wings leaves an impression, too. John loves his authenticity and seeing a real identity take form on the stage with this performance. He's being picky with his save, though, but never fear Gwen Stefani is a Stee superfan, and she happily uses her steel here. She's wanted him since the blind auditions and can't get enough of the positivity that comes with his flawless singing skills. John Legend makes up for not using a save in that knockout by using up his one steal in the final knockout of the evening. A team Gwen triple threat from our NB slash pop singer Kara Tinney, powerhouse C.O. Ree, and country vocalist Kristen Brown. While Gwen can't give up Kara Tinney, who performs JoJo's Leave Get Out, because to Gwen, Kara is the whole package, John is excited to use his steal to add a country artist to Team Legend. Kristen has some issues after getting a little emotional during her cover of Martina McBride's anthem, This One's For The Girls, but she's been consistent otherwise. She'll have a chance to prove she has the skills now that she's part of Team Legend. And while that knockout closes out the episode, the highlight of the evening is easily at the midpoint of the show. Team Neal's one knockout of the night ends with all three artists sticking around, almost unheard of on The Voice. Even in rehearsals, Mega Mender Winona Judd and Niall Horan stand-ins Dan and Shay could tell this matchup. Huntley, Claudia B., and Noah Spencer was going to leave Neil with an excruciating choice to make. Each artist is so different, and yet, each is able to impress by staying true to themselves. Huntley shreds with his powerhouse vocals on Bon Jovi's Dead or Alive, Claudia B. Picks a perfect song to show off her jazzy side as well as her piano chops with Don't Know Why by Nora Jones and Noah Spencer cuts through, as Winona says. Flashier vocals to deliver an emotional country folk performance on the Steel Drivers, where rainbows never die. When it's all over, Neil calls it the best knockout I've ever seen on this show before. Neil knows the one artist he can't risk losing is Huntley, who has been both dynamic and consistently perfect throughout his time on season 24. He wins the knockout, but Neil doesn't want to give up Claudia B. and her emotive, soaring vocals either. Almost immediately, he goes to push his save button, but is beaten to the punch by a few seconds by John Legend, looking to use his steal. Claudia B. was originally on Team Legend, so he has a fighting chance, but since Neil missed rehearsals, Claudia is itching to really work with the guy. Claudia B. remains on Team Neil. But wait, there's another artist up for grabs. Noah Spencer steps up to the mic and John decides to go for it again. This time, however, He's up against Reba McIntyre, who also doesn't hesitate to use her steel. During her critique, she is teary-eyed, telling Noah that the warmth in his voice actually made her homesick for nights sitting out on her porch. She gets choked up a second time begging him to join Team Reba because of how much she loves his tone. John tells Noah that he is very aware he is outmatched since Noah skews country, but he wanted to push his button simply because Noah earned it out here on the stage. Noah does decide to go with Reba as his new coach, but what a ride. Here's hoping Carson Daly gets a little vocal rest after that workout of an episode. The Voice airs Mondays and Tuesdays on NBC.